Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into the vibrant flavors of Goan cuisine with a delicious recipe for Alsani Masala, also known as Red Cow Pea Gravy. We will also uncover the ingredients that makes this recipe special. Let's dive in and find out. Here I have taken 1 cup of alsandi soaked overnight. Then we need some whole spices, around 10 goan red chilies, little tamarind, half spoon of black peppercorns, 5 cloves, spoon of dried coriander seeds, cinnamon, black stove flour and javitri, that's mace. Then we also need half spoon of turmeric, a spoon of garam masala, one sweet green chilli, jaggery and some curry leaves. I have also taken one finely chopped tomato, two sliced potatoes, one cup freshly grated coconut and fresh coriander leaves. Then here we have mustard seeds and nutmeg powder. Now let's get cooking. First add in the soaked alsane into a pressure cooker and to it add potatoes, tomatoes and green chilies. Add water and cook it for 4 whistles. Meanwhile, let's dry roast the whole spices and grated coconut. In a pan, add all the whole spices and roast. Once done, remove it aside. Now in the same pan, Add the freshly grated coconut and roast along with turmeric powder and garam masala powder. Here I have also added fresh coriander leaves. Roast everything thoroughly. Allow the roasted ingredients to cool down. Now, add in all the roasted ingredients into a mixy jar and grind to obtain a smooth paste. Now let's see if the alsane are pressure cooked. Here as you see, the alsanis are well cooked. So let's proceed with the recipe. Add the alsani into a vessel and to it add in the ground masala. Add little water to get the desired consistency. Now add salt and jaggery as per taste. Mix everything properly and give it a nice boil. Alsani masala or alsani tana is ready. Now it's time to give the tadka. In a hot oil, add in the mustard seeds and curry leaves. Once this crackles, give tadka to the alsani masala and cover it with the lid immediately so that the aroma of curry leaves and mustard seeds get well infused within the gravy. Cover this for 5 minutes. Now here is your delicious alsani masala ready to serve. I hope you all are enjoying my recipes. If so, do like and subscribe to my channel. See you again next time. Bye-bye.